Hi, this is Sister Jensen, and we are going to be subtracting integers today. Love it! So glad you decided to join us. All right, so quick review. This was in the PDF file that you could have downloaded right before this video um, of how to add integers. So we're just going to skim right through this because I think you're ace in adding integers. Rule number one, if the signs are the same, do as you normally do and keep the same sign. Just like in first grade or kindergarten, 5 plus 8, it's positive 5, positive 8, you get positive 13. And the same with integers. If I have the signs are the same, a negative 8 plus a negative 17, that's going to give me a negative 25. I love the rule. If the signs match, you add as you normally do, keep the same sign. However, rule number 2 is different when you're adding. If the signs are different, we want you just to pretend that the signs aren't there, subtract the smaller from the larger one, and then keep the sign with the greatest absolute value. Here's how it works. I have positive 19 plus negative 11. Because the signs don't match, we just go, okay, we're going to subtract. 19 take away 11 is 8, and it says keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Well, that 19 has the greater absolute value, and it's positive, so that's going to be positive 8. Try it again. I have positive 24 plus negative 86. Uh, the signs are different, so we're going to subtract the smaller from the larger. So that means 86 take away 24. And then what's the sign going to be? Keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Would that be the 24 and keep it positive, or is it going to be negative like the 86? Of course, negative, so it's negative 62. So that's your review of adding. If you've got adding down, subtracting is so easy. So here's how we do it. There's three steps to subtracting integers, and I call it keep change opposite. Um, I've done this with teenagers, so I'm just going to pretend like adults think the same way sometimes. Keep change opposite. Keep the first number. So whatever expression you're simplifying, keep the first number exactly the way you find it. We're going to just change the subtraction sign to addition. Why? Because we like to add. And there's two rules to adding and you already know them. So why don't we just add? Nobody likes subtracting. So keep the first number, change the subtraction sign to the addition, and then we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write down the opposite of the second number. So first number stays the same, change subtraction to addition, and we're going to write down the opposite of the second number. So if the second number is 5, the opposite of 5 is negative 5. The second number is 20, the opposite of 20 is negative 20. The second number is negative 50, the opposite of negative 50 is positive 50. All right. Once you do, th do those three steps, keep, change, opposite. You're going to add the way you normally do. You know, those two rules that you're really good at, that's it. All right, we're going to walk you through problem. I have negative 9 take away 14. Oh no, it's a subtraction problem. What should I do? I'm scratching my head, although that doesn't look like me at all. Okay. The first rule is keep. What do we keep? We keep the first number exactly as you found it. It is negative 9. You do not touch that negative 9. It stays negative 9. All right. Change. What do we change? We're going to change the subtraction sign to addition. So it's no longer subtraction. It is now an addition problem. Why? Because we like addition. So we have keep, change, and I have to do the opposite. This is positive 14. Okay. The opposite of positive 14 is negative 14. All right. Now we can just add like we normally do. Let's see what we have. I have negative 9 plus negative 14. Oh, oh my gosh, the signs match. The signs match. That means we can just add them. Okay. 9 and 14. I've got 23. What sign do we keep? The same sign. Negative. It's a negative 23. Yay. That's how you subtract. You just do keep change opposite. Okay, I want you to practice. I know, we just barely learned the rule and I'm making you practice by yourself. I want you to pause the video. I want you to do five problems. Don't forget, keep change opposite. Write your work down and then when you're done with five problems, come back. We'll talk about the answers. Seriously, pause the video. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at your answers here. I have negative seven take away 15, so we did keep change opposite so you should have had negative 7 plus negative 15 the signs were the same so you added them and you have negative 22 yes 
Okay, 23 take away 98, we keep 23. Subtraction becomes addition, so it's 23 plus negative 98. Ah, signs aren't the same, we have to subtract. But that negative 98 has the greater absolute value, so we get negative 75. Okay, number three, hopefully you got 100% so far. Keep the negative 48. We change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. So we have negative 48 plus positive 13. The signs don't match, so you have to subtract. And that negative 48 has the greater absolute value, so that's why it's a negative 35. Okay, three for three. Number four, keep the positive five. Change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative six is positive six. Well, that just means it's five plus six, and five plus six is just 11. Oh, we're having good. Hope you're really not sweating like this guy over here. This is not that bad. 17 take away eight. Well, you could just do 17 take away, or you can keep 17, change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of eight is negative eight, and so you end up with positive nine. That's it. Okay, there are extra practice um, assignments, or not they're really assignments, optional practice worksheets available on the teacher's um, instructor notes and discussion page. So if you need some extra practice with integers, just do it. It's not that big of a deal. You're just gonna make yourself more confident. If you have any questions, drop me an email. Bye.